Hi there! In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the domain management section in Bluehost. So I've logged into Bluehost here, and after I log in, I'll see a bunch of these buttons here. That's the C panel or control panel. And if I log down to domain management, I'm going to be showing you the domain manager tool over here. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it, it will take me over there to the domain manager. This is the area where I can manage my domains. I will see my all my .coms, .orgs, etc. a list of those and be able to change the settings of them. So you can see I have a list of domains right here on this particular account. Um, I can have pretty much unlimited domains on my account and from here, I can register a new domain, transfer a domain over here. So if I uh, registered a domain with another host or GoDaddy or Namecheap, I can bring that over here so I have it in my account. I can assign a domain to my account. So that is transferring will take it over from one registrar to another. So that's essentially who I'm paying to register my domain by assigning it that just means I have the domain pointing to my account so that I can host a website here. So they're a little different. I can select registered domains. Uh, that's the same as clicking them down here. Manage a domain redirection. So if I want, you know, I have myname.com. If I've got uh, gadali.net and I just wanted to point that straight to gadali.com, I could do that with the redirection or if I have a ton of domains I can export that to a file that I can open up in Microsoft Excel or something similar so over here I've got my list of domains and so if I check the box over here I have a bunch of different options over here I'll give you a brief overview of those uh, first it shows me the registrar so it shows me that I registered and I'm paying Bluehost to uh, create the or to have registered the domain it shows me the date it was created the expiration the renewal options is it auto renewing or uh, have I set it to expire lock status so will it be locked to my account privacy is this is all domain registration information so it'll show me um, if domain privacy is enabled that means that my information is not publicly available as the person who registered this domain um, I can manage the DNS records so that's a lot of technical stuff about how um, how the domain operates and what services essentially what address the domain is pointing to so like your domain is a sort of like a PO box and it points to a server so this is how you control the servers that it's pointing to I can see um, the hosting account information for this domain so I can see this is an add-on domain so it's not the main domain on my account but it's added onto the domain and points to a particular directory so that just means it's pointing to a folder on my hosting account um, I can manage subdomains, so if I wanted uh, blog.bardblog.com, which is the domain is bardblog.com, then I could create those over here. Then I can manage more of these settings by going to renewal options, chang changing that. Since it's registered in here, I can change the contacts, the privacy options, and name servers. Name servers is the main thing you're going to work with. So if you registered your domain through Bluehost, you want to make sure these are here. If you ever need to po uh, point to another host, you would change them. Also, if you registered your domain uh, outside of Bluehost, but you want to point it to your hosting account, you would change your name servers to these settings right over here in GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever you created your uh, domain. Now for, let's see, uh, for a domain that I didn't um, register through Bluehost, 
uh, let's say this one. Uh, so this has fewer options because it was registered through GoDaddy. The only thing I can do here is um, I have name server information so I can go into GoDaddy and make sure that the domain is pointing to my account and I can transfer the domain away uh, or to my, this account if I w wanted to no longer have it registered with the other registrar. And that's an overview of this domain section.